how do you shower with a mallet finger? Hi guys, I'm Michelle from Virtual Hand Care and in this video, I'm gonna hopefully answer that question for you, but also provide you some suggestions to help you get through these next six to eight weeks, sometimes longer, of having a mallet finger because that's how long it typically takes that you have to wear your splint and allow that injury to truly heal. As you know, if you're here with a mallet finger injury, you understand that you have to wear your splint 24 seven. That means all the time and that means even when you are showering. Now, before we get started, make sure you grab my free mallet finger starter kit it, where I share five tips for a successful recovery. You'll find the link here. So my first tip is to cover the whole entire hand while you are showering. It might be a little bit of an overkill, but for some people it can be a lifesaver and that's to get a cast cover. Now most cast covers come with a very small opening, but they're typically big enough that you can just put your whole entire hand in and it might be more than what you need, but you know what? You're not gonna get any kind of water down into that hand. But there's a lot of different types out there online like this one here. And then of course you would just wanna make sure every time you remove the cast cover that you are just nice and careful and slow and making sure you're not gonna accidentally pull that mallet finger splint off. And then of course, after you do that, you can then wash your arm and wash your finger separately after your shower. Then a second way to cover is to use a dish glove of some kind. Now with this method, you would wanna make sure that you pick up some maybe extra large dish gloves and you could do something kind of like this and maybe tie it off but you're gonna wanna keep your hand up like this because if you do put your hand down, even if you make this tight, more than likely water will kind of seep down into your hand. And again, you would have to be really careful and make sure that this glove is big enough so that you're not gonna be pulling the splint off your finger. If you want to use this method, you could then just prep ahead of time and make sure you apply a lot of tape along that slant to really make sure that it's not gonna slip off before you put the glove on. And then another very inexpensive alternative is to just use a bread bag. Just go ahead and put your hand in the bread bag and then you would just tape that off. But again, do make sure that when you're showering that you're keeping the arm up so that again, water does not go down into the bread bag. Then my second tip for how you can shower with a mallet finger is to just shower. Don't cover it, don't cover anything. Do make sure that you're wearing your splint and it is on nice and secure, maybe add a little bit of extra tape, but you can go ahead and shower. You can get that splint wet, you can get your finger wet. However, it's really important to make sure that you give yourself some extra time so that you can remove that wet splint safely, of course, with support so that you can allow your skin to air out because you don't want to leave a wet splint on your finger for hours and hours. Eventually your skin is going to become very macerated and I will tell you that the number one complication for mallet fingers is skin breakdown and that can cause a wound, an infection. What that means is you have to stop wearing your splint to allow your skin to heal. It's definitely easier to prevent any kind of skin issues by allowing some air and circulation to that skin that has to be in a splint 24 seven. And so sometimes having two separate splints may be necessary, especially if you have a splint like this one that has foam in it, that is going to hold all of that moisture and water and you definitely do not wanna keep this on in the shower and then also continue to wear that same type of splint all day long. So you would want to have a dry one and then you would wanna have one just for showering. Usually with harder type of material like the plastic material types of mallet splints, you don't necessarily have that same issue. However, you do wanna make sure that you do safely remove the splint, let your skin air out, make sure the splint is nice and dry. And then of course, put that splint right back on your finger and you can go on with your day. If you found this video helpful, do please give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And before you go, don't forget to grab my free mallet finger starter kit where I share five tips for a successful mallet finger recovery. You'll find it here. Thanks for watching.